Well hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome! My name is Mandy and this is Sweetly Home, where we love to talk about all things heart and home. And today I wanted to share with you my pantry organization. This has kind of been like a long time coming for me and finding a, a system that would really work for our pantries. We have two pantry cupboards and they're very deep. They're tall and deep. <laughs> and we have some drawers that slide out and some that are stationary. And so it was a process of trying to figure out how best to organize those deep cupboards in a way that would work for us. This system has been working now for a few months and it's worked so well that my husband's actually been able to put away the groceries and I know where things go and so does he because it's a system that really works. So today I'm going to take you inside of my pantry and show you the system that we are using. It was all done very inexpensively with products that I purchased um, from the dollar store. We also have a Target liquidation store here. Target is no longer in Canada any longer, and so we actually have a store locally that carries Target merchandise at between 40 and 90% off. So some of the um, blue bins that you'll see inside of my pantry came actually from Target. They are Sterilite brand. If you are interested in them, I'm sure you can find something comparable at your Target or maybe Walmart or even the dollar store. So. Let's go ahead and dive in and I will share with you my pantry. So to give you an idea of where my pantries are, they are these white cupboards here surrounding the fridge. When we designed our kitchen after our home renovation, this was a new system that we put into place. Previously, there had just been a blank wall and there was a large cutout connecting between the dining room and the pantry area. Where the chalkboard is, that was actually a large cutout as well. So we drywalled in both of those areas and we chose to put the pantries over on this side of the wall because our kitchen is very, very small. Um, we didn't want it to be an eat-in kitchen. On the other side of the pantry wall is actually our dining area and we eat all of our meals there. So it didn't make sense to have two tables on either side of the wall. So on the left, this pantry cupboard is a stationary pantry. So I'll go ahead and just give you an idea of what this pantry looks like. It has five different shelves. On this top shelf is things that I don't access very frequently. I have a system in place that on one side of the pantry on the left, the cupboard that we are looking at now, this is where I tend to store a lot of products that we have double of. In the top bin I have my pasta and rice. So I actually in the other pantry have all of the pasta and rice on hand that we will be eating you know, within the next few weeks or month or so. So everything that's in the top bin is all products that we will be eating later on. They're things that I buy when I see a good deal and I don't want to pass it up so I just store them inside of that bin. On the bottom is all of my baking supplies. These are again things that I'm not accessing often or they are doubles of things that I already am using in my pantry area. So again, this top system is just really kind of an overflow. So right in front here I've got this white basket and this is something that I just use to hold extra little dishes. So as you can see I just have a small little dish like this. I have these berry baskets that I used in my fridge and then just everything in this white container itself. This again was from the Target liquidation store. Here I've got two cookbooks that I frequent quite often. I'm doing an eating plan called Trim Healthy Mama and I always want these at my fingertips so I just keep them right here. Next in the back, this bin keeps a lot of excess baking supplies. Things like icing sugar, I often have um, oats for oatmeal and things like that just in here. They are usually kind of bagged goods. Um, I don't do a lot of baking anymore, especially with sugar. This is stuff that I purchased over Christmas that is still kind of hanging around. It's brand new. I haven't used it yet. Um, but I have it on hand if I need it. These two bins are being held up by a white shelf and this white shelf came from my dollar store. It was three dollars and it holds these bins perfectly. These actually slide in and out very easily and it acts like a drawer system. 
So I just added stick on chalkboard labels that I picked up from the dollar store and they work really well to denote what is inside of each bin. So this next area of my pantry is the area that I'm accessing quite often. In fact, on a daily basis and several times a day. We'll start here on the left. I purchased this little shelf here from the dollar store. The awesome thing about this shelf is that it is collapsible. So these legs can fold in and out. And it fits so well over these bins. These bins were also from the dollar store. If you are in Canada, I got these at Dollarama. So inside of this bin here, I have everything kind of divided up into compartments. So each compartment, I'll show you what that looks like. So there are two compartments inside of this basket and they hold things for me so I can keep things organized and it's not spread out all over the place. It keeps them nice and organized. So first of all, in the first bin, I have a little bucket here and this was originally from the Target dollar spot and I have just some straws in it. I love to drink my water with straws so this makes them nice and handy. In front of the bucket here, I have some water enhancers. I love to add these to my water and um, so they just live right in front of there. The second compartment, again, is with one of these little white bins from Target. And inside I have some flavored teas. And then in the back here I also have some more tea, and these are um, mulled apple cider teas. So that is how this bin is laid out, and on the front here I have a chalkboard label that says drinks and teas. And so when you are standing here to get something out of the pantry, the label is out facing you so you can see exactly what is inside of it. So underneath this bin slides out and there are compartments also in this. So this is our koozies and clips basket. So inside of here I again have the two little dividers from the Target dollar spot and inside of the first little bin here I have got chip clips. It's all kinds of little ones. And so I've got all of the clips in there. I've also got a pack of mints and then some gum here on the side. And then in the next bin we just have some koozies that we use for pop or my husband's beer. And then that just goes right here underneath the shelf. And again the label fits so that we can see it. And next we've got my favorite bin which is the coffee bin. So inside of here we have various teas and coffee. We grind our own beans, we buy the Kirkland brand from Costco and we grind them every couple of days and we just use our magic bullet and we keep the grounds right in here. I'm not worried about this being a see-through container because like I said we go through this within just a few days between my husband and I and any visitors who come who love coffee. So we just keep that right inside of this little container. And then I use uh, Trivia to sweeten my drinks, and so I just have a packet of the um, little sugar packets in here. And then we have some various teas. We've got Tetley, we've got this um, Afternoon Escape tea, which was a gift from a friend, some orange loose leaf tea, and just some other coffee items. So that all stays right here in this little box, and it holds everything really well, and we are able, we keep it up front and center because we access it every single day. <laughs> Here in the back again I have these two bins from Sterilite brand that were originally from Target and again they are being divided by this white shelf that I picked up from the dollar store. I have my chalkboard labels on my bins. When I was looking for the categories to divide up my pantry into, I went on Pinterest and I looked at a whole bunch of different pantry organization videos and I wrote down every single different category that other people had in their pantries to try and figure out what would be the ones that would work best for us. And the ones that I have here are truly the things that um, work really well for our, fam our family. I don't find that I have excess goods stored all over. They fit within the bins and they work really well. Inside of here I keep any canned items that we have, which is typically tuna fish, pasta sauce, um, tomato paste, things of that nature. I also have my extra bag of coffee back here. And inside of here I have cans of applesauce, a few different canned fruits for when 
Prices are not very good at the grocery store on fruit. I always have a couple backups in here. And then I've got a can of pumpkin pie filling. So where these two shelves connect, there is a space back here for some extra things that we have on hand that we didn't really have a proper spot for. Back there, my husband has a big bottle of vitamins that he takes. He has some Advocare Spark Powder stuff. And then I just have a bottle of this free and clear sparkling water. So this is the shelf where we keep our breads and any other soft items. For instance, I have some rice cakes over here. Sometimes I will put baked goods on this shelf, muffins, things like that. Anything that you don't want to get squished will just go onto this rack itself. Now underneath of this shelf, this actually just changed the other day. So what you're seeing here is a mom getting ready and attempting to put together some emergency preparedness for my family. We don't drink a whole lot of bottled water. In fact, it's something that we just maybe have closer towards the summertime when we're going to camp and we can't drink the running water there. We need to bring our own water in. So. Um, this past week, the Nestle Pure Life bottled water was on sale for $1.88 for two for 24 packs. So I picked up two. Again, I'm getting ready to do some emergency preparedness, and um, I want to make sure that I have potable drinking water on hand. So I have two, my both of my cases back there, and then just a few bottles right here in front. This shelf where the water is will likely change at some point once I figure out where I want to keep those waters, but for now, that is what I have there. Now, if you're looking at my pantry system and you're going, gosh, she just doesn't have a lot of food. I have way more food than that. You know what? I totally agree. We don't have a ton of things on hand. Um, we are in a season of life where my husband has been laid off and we've eaten through a lot of things that we have in our pantry. And what we have sustains us and lasts us for several weeks at a time and it works really well for us. But I'm a director with Sensi and this brand right here, Velada, is a Sensi brand. And they're actually closing their doors this year, which I'm really sad about. I don't sell this brand, but I love it. So it's a line of fondue warmers that keeps the chocolate at a perfect temperature so it doesn't burn. It uses the uh, heating element rather than a flame. It's really awesome, so delicious and wonderful, and they carry a bunch of other things too. Um, I just These are just some of my personal Velada products. In this bucket right here, this bucket is from the dollar store. Um, I just have bags of their chocolate in both of these bins actually. And then in the back, I have my Velada warmers. This bin is from Target. And inside here, I have all of my Velada warmers. And then this little bin right here is my Velada accessories. So I've got the lids, so the chocolate can actually go into the fridge and be reheated later. So I've got the lids that I can use on the dish to do that, and I've got fondue forks right here. And then there's just an extra Velada warmer in the back for gift giving at some point. So that is how this shelf is all laid out. Okay, so this next pantry door actually slides out, which is kind of handy. So here is a brief look and overview of what the pantry looks like. All of the drawers are actually attached to the door. Initially we hadn't done that, it was only the top and then the bottom that were attached. And then the two middle drawers were unattached, but we found it was giving a lot of pressure onto the door whenever it would pull out. Um, and so the top drawer actually came off of the door. So my husband had to fix that. So if you are ever thinking of going with this sort of system from Ikea with slide out drawers, you might want to think about attaching all of the drawers, especially if you're going to be housing heavy items in your pantry. And that is what we have done. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to take you through each of the shelves and show you what we have on them. So the way that I have things set up is I have two sides to this pantry that I kind of work from. Because I can access both sides, and um, they have different things, at least on the top shelf. On here I have things like my coconut oil, um, balsamic vinegar, and oil. And this is the view from the other side. So I have these two Dollar Tree bins. On the right is where I keep all of our extra condiments. So, and on the left, in the wire basket, 
are where we put extra snacks and my husband likes, he has a bit of a sweet tooth, so um, I like to put his snacks up there as well. They're, I like to keep those things sort of out of sight, out of mind, and I know that in there is any sort of junk, and to stay away from that bin as best as I can. So this is a peek at the second shelf down and what I have on here. So I have got a lot of glass containers as well as some OXO containers. Um, the OXO containers right here came from a liquid that same liquidation Target store. And in here I have got uh, different snacks for the kids. So I'll give you a bit of a look here at some of my jars. The jars on the left, the ones with the chalkboard lids, those are from the Dollar Tree. So in these jars I have coconut flour, whole grain rice, popcorn, unsweetened coconut, almond flour, and golden flax meal. These containers right here are containers that we got from our wedding registry. You can actually find them still at Walmart. They come in a variety of different sizes. Um, I keep our flour in them, I have sugar on the other side, and in the middle I have oolong tea bags. Here is a look at the other side. So right here I have got three little blue canning jars. I've got a few more of these canning jars set aside that I could add here if I needed. But right now I simply just have some dehydrated apple slices, craisins, and raisins. Here is the area of my pantry of items that I'm cooking on a very regular basis. So I like to have them easy access. So let me show you what I've got. So this bin here in front holds our kids' snacks. I like to take the time to prepare snacks for my kids and stick them in a Tupperware container and have them in this bin so that if they are looking for a snack and I've said, yes, go ahead, they are easily able to get it on their own. So this bin right here is where we keep our soup and our sides. So on the other side, I have this bin for breakfast items. We're not big cereal eaters. Uh, I do have some Cheerios right here. So in the back here, I have got my bin for pasta. This is the area where I have all of the pasta that is opened and that we are actually using for dinner and for recipes and things of that nature. Every someday I hope to get a really good pasta storage container, maybe like an OXO container, but for now this bucket is doing really great. On the bottom here is where I house our heavy containers. So we have a Costco membership, so I get my olive oil there. Um, we have just some canola oil, and we actually use this for popcorn. They're big popcorn lovers, so I like to use this to put in my pot to make popcorn on the stove. And then on the left is a big jug of vinegar. And lastly, I have our root vegetables. So on the bottom here, again, these bins are from the Dollar Tree. I have placed paper towels in the bottom of the bins. And once the vegetables are gone, I go ahead and I swap those paper towels out for clean, fresh ones. But in the meantime, they hold a lot of the onion peels and the dirt and things like that that you can find from root vegetables. So here on the left, this is where I keep sweet potatoes and squash. And on the right, is where I keep onions and garlic. So I also wanted to share with you where I keep a lot of our other dry goods. So I just keep them here on my counter in glass containers. In the very right on the small container is some cocoa powder. Next to that is my oats. And next to that is some pancake mix and then brown sugar. And in the large container here is a Trim Healthy Mama baking blend. On the very tip top of my fridge and sandwiched in between my pantries, I keep this basket for paper and plastic items. These are actually overflow items of things like saran wrap and wax paper and also all of our party supplies like cups, straws, and paper plates. So let me show you what is inside. Okay, so inside of this bin I've got um, bowls and I've got my plastic wrap, sandwich bags. And again, some of these products are just doubles of what I already got have. Lots of paper on straws, hand. some that are seasonal, and I've got lots of different napkins and dessert plates and cups and these. 
berry baskets and just all sorts of paper products that we may need in throwing a party or just making every day a little bit more festive and fun. So that is it for my pantry organization. At some point I will show you what is in these upper cabinets. Right now it's just storage for seasonal bakeware and dishes and things of that nature for parties and holidays and different things like that. So at um, some point I will show you that but in the meantime thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that button. I would love to hit. If you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that button. I would love it so much. Feel free to give a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.